Hello there and welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me Cy Pitway. Today on the show I've got up early and I've come to one of mine and Davy's permissions uh, what we don't shoot very often and last time we did shoot it with Friday and the reason I've come today is because when we was here Friday we was using the uh, Night Sight Viper Artec unit and we was quite surprised at the amount of rabbits what's bred in the year since we shot it last it's been a bit of a population explosion so uh, while Davey's down in Brighton, and he's shooting with one of our good friends, John, a.k.a. Verts, who's one of the admin on the Vermin Hunters TV Facebook group, I thought I'd come and try and get some rabbits for you. So today, I brought my wife's rifle, which is a Ratworks Reaper. Uh, this rifle started life as a BSA Ultra SE, which is a very good rifle in its own right, but then it went to Phil Crampton at the Ratworks, and was fully tuned, regulated, uh, and it's got a custom shroud on, which makes it very quiet. Uh, and if you look further back, maybe about a year, maybe a little bit longer than a year, in our videos on VHTV, you'll see a review of this rifle. It's a very nice rifle. Normally when I shoot it, I shoot it using JSB heavies, uh, but because my wife now uses it for HFT and target shooting, uh, we've got it all set up now with Air Arms Express, which are a nice light pellet. I think they're around about 7.9 grain off the top of my head, so they fly very flat flatter than the uh, JSB Evis uh, and it makes it easy for her to uh, hit targets. She shoots it very well uh, and I think in the last four or five competitions, I think it's five now she's shot in, she's come first in the ladies with this so uh, yeah it's a really nice rifle. Anyway what I'm going to do is going to go round. Uh, I've seen a few rabbits as I pulled up in the car uh, and hopefully get a few for you. Uh, it's a nice morning. Uh, front of the property over there there's hardly any wind, or I should say the back of the property, there's hardly any wind, but there's a bit of breeze this side. What I'll also do is, uh, as we're going round, because it's a new permission and I don't show it often, I'll show you what it looks like uh, and give you a bit of a pan panoramic view uh, of where I'm shooting. So, enjoy. There's a little bunny down here. If I get him, I'll edit a finger in where he is because you might not see him. That was quite uh, funny because I'm actually just been here, check zero in, and if I move the camera around, you can see the uh, check zero target there, which is at 42 meters, uh, and that bunny was at 37. So I'm lucky for that bunny. little one but as you can see it's actually in the actual paddock Bad. Good start really. 36 meters. Nice shot, I'm gonna pick him up. See, bleeding out the ears, signs of a nice headshot and eyes bulging. Right, I'm going to give you a little bit of a panoramic view of this permission. And as I said in the introduction, it's not a permission me and Davey come that often, and we should because it's, it's only really 25 minutes away from the house. Uh, but it is huge, so I'll show you a little view. So these are stables, and you can see the stables here uh, going up. 
see the house from the landowner uh, and if I just zoom in you'll see his greenhouse hopefully see the greenhouse there uh, at the other side of that house is a large garden with a tennis court and that garden's probably 90, 90 meters on its own but we're going to show you the rest of the permission so I'll zoom all the way out uh, see he's got his pond here uh, as far as you can see up there to the skyline and then I'm just going to zoom all the way out again all right I'll zoom in as far as you can see uh, to that big tree there so following that edge line down all the way down all the way down to there not ideal position now but I'm just trying to look through the trees all the way through the trees down there and this field in between all the way down to that tree there following it following it there you can see right at the corner of that field which is probably four or five hundred meters at least uh, and then I'll show you the rest of the uh, permission this is only the uh, back part of it That was unlucky for that rabbit. That was another nice shot. Had to shoot. As you can see, when I put the footage up through a, a tennis court fence uh, and make sure that the shot placement is perfect to get through the actual squares, the green squares on the fence to actually hit the rabbit. Show you this that's a really sweet shot placement especially uh, that I was shooting through the fence I'm really happy with that so I'm in the stable area now you see I've got my little mate here really friendly horse he must be friendly because I don't know him that well and he's letting me pet him. But if you can see behind, uh, right down to the bottom there, there's a brick wall uh, where they keep the logs because they've obviously got a log burner. And I'll just spin the camera down there. And I'll just zoom in. Excuse me a second. Just trying to do this. There you can see the logs. Uh, and because there's a wall each side, you can see the stables this side, the stables this side. Uh, it makes an ideal place and in the past, last year, me and Davies used this. Uh, put a target against one of the uh, logs, what they're going to burn. And you don't get wind really coming down these walls very often. It usually uh, sort of like is stopped by the two walls and you can get a perfect zero lane here. So you have to come probably late evening or early morning because the ladies come to obviously tend to the horses, aren't they mate? But yeah, it's an ideal place to get a really fine zero. Rabbit just come out. It looks quite a distance though. It's 
49 metres. But it's a really still day, no wind whatsoever. So 49 metres requires one and three quarter mil dots of old over with these light pellets, uh, which is 49 metres is 54 yards. So I'm going to give it a go. grumble at that when you get accuracy like that. Uh, with this rat worked reaper. Absolutely bang on. That rabbit went over as if it had been hit by a steam train. Really, really pleased. Not sure if you can see that there. You see the blood coming out of the ears. Uh, shot placement, hopefully you can see. Perfect shot placement. There's another one of the horses, a friendly horse. Really nice horses here. Uh, and one of my work colleagues keeps her horses here as well. But I know one of the admin, uh, Aaron, and his wife Michelle, there, she's got quite a few horses, so I know she'll probably appreciate seeing her few horses on the, on the show. It makes a change to see something different, doesn't it mate? It's lovely. <laughs> right, I'm at the front of the property now and this is the garden I was telling you about. See there's the house and it's probably about 90 metres I would say. Maybe a little bit less actually, maybe 80. Uh, there's the tennis courts uh, going down. It's a nice little static hunting place this. Gets a quite a big population of rabbits. Now as I look up there to the uh, where the grass meets the skyline, you can see a tree in the background. Uh, behind that mound is another field. And right out to that tree in the background uh, is permission. And I'm just going to come around slowly, try not to kick the stand, and show you the other side. So we're going to be looking through these trees in a second. So I'll just zoom in slowly, and you'll see there's a field there. I'm not quite what sure as what's in there. It looks like it's overgrown. Uh, and as I pan up, you'll see an edge. So we call that the first field, and then behind it, there's another field with a crop in. And then you can see right in the background there's some trees which are probably, I'd say, a mile at least away. Uh, that's all permission. And basically, to the skyline, or where the actual, not to the skyline, where the, the hill meets the trees down there, that's all permission. Same with here, down to the road, that's the road there all that field there and it goes all the way down and the bottom of their drive is probably a uh, quarter of a mile in this direction we're looking now down a track private road uh, and that's all permission as well so it's just epic in size like I say it's a thousand acres you just uh, you just can't shoot it all and this we've only probably shot one percent of what what's actually here Well folks, that brings us to the end of this episode, I hope you've enjoyed it. You can see I managed to uh, pick up four rabbits here. It's not a huge bag, uh, but it's four rabbits what won't be causing trouble on the uh, landowner's garden and horse paddocks. You can see in the background is the Ratworks Reaper, uh, and it's done itself proud today, shooting the uh, Air Arms Express lighter pellets. I've got to say I'm not a, a huge fan of the lighter pellets, 
I have definitely noticed today, uh, shooting the lighter pellets, that there is not such a whack on impact as there is if you're using JSB Heavy or Bisley Magnums. Uh, and I prefer to use the heavier pellet for hunting. But, uh, as you saw, they have done the uh, job, uh, so they can be used for hunting, but it's just not my preferred thing. To be honest, if it was my rifle and not my wife's, uh, I'd have set it up using JSB Heavies because uh, it's absolutely spot on accurate with JSB Heavies as well. But, as I said, it's not, my, it's not mine, it's my wife's and she uses it for HFT, so I've just left it as it is. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. It'd be nice to uh, have you on board. Uh, and look out for future productions from myself and Davey on Birmingham Hunters TV.